In only eight hours' time, two London homes will open as fully functioning restaurants ready to welcome discerning diners. Stefan and Bonnie make a late dash to the supermarket for some last minute provisions. Good morning. So, it's a really nice, fresh salmon. And you got some nice mackerels here, you have. What have you found then? Mackerels, salmon, and. Left off the, um, 13. Well, that's a lot. That's 20 quid for, the, for if we get that as well. There's 45 pounds left in the budget for fish and cheese, basically. Hello. This shopping can't be any more than 45 quid. 38.17, please. 38.17 out of our 45 pound budget. Not we bad. have fish, we got about 7 pounds. Thank you. Kajal and Amisha, meanwhile, are busy turning their home into an alfresco restaurant. Oh, wow, guys. That looks good. That, that looks so really nice. Or yeah, at really least nice. directing others to do so. And once you've done this side, we'll have a look at it to see if we oh. like it. I don't know if there's anything you could do to make me do that. Yeah. Because I think it would be that Having directed the boys, oh. no, we can do. Yeah, that's the girls retire to the kitchen to <laughs> offer a critique. Amisha's got some thoughts on men. <laughs> <sighs> men just faff. We just get on with it. Yeah. So true. Guys are not very good at multitasking. The only thing they can do by multitasking is drive a car. That's it. That's very true, Kajal. <laughs> There's gratitude for you. <laughs> Stefan, meanwhile, has discovered a tricky sanitation problem that could ruin his restaurant's big night. Oh, these are the most stupid, <laughs> annoying things in the <laughs> world. <laughs> he's cursing because he's trying to fix the toilet seat. And it's stupid. There's nothing that makes him angrier than things that don't do what they're meant to do. So, but I'd rather it break now with us here and him able to swear whilst fixing it rather than when the guests are here. Sorted. Well done, sweetie. With time running out, the sisters are putting the finishing touches to their restaurant. This is um, Ganesh. Ganesh is a protector. When any Hindu does anything auspicious in their house, they always pray to Ganesh first. Tonight, Kajal and Amisha are adopting a Bollywood theme with full traditional dress. I'm, just <laughs> I'm doing little Kajal. <laughs> Stefan and Bonnie are also completing last minute preparations for their home restaurant. We've got 10 bowls of wine. We could run out of people drink a lot. We're just finishing plating the little five element taster plates. So there's like a little quiz on the menu of the five different flavours that go with the five elements. And I'm going to ask them to taste these little things and see if they can identify the flavours. Hey, mate. They've roped in close friend and chef Angus to help in the kitchen for the night. Oh, how are you? And in West London, the sisters have persuaded Amisha's husband, Anil, and brother-in-law, Akash, to wait on tables. 6.30 is our first sitting. 7, our thali's going out. We're ready to go. Not long. Minutes. Minutes. Now we're panicking. <laughs> After three manic days of preparation, both home restaurants are open for business. Welcome to Masala Makwana. Please come in. Thank you. Take a seat. All the diners are local people who have never met their hosts before tonight. Nice to meet you. Yes. <laughs> the decor is brilliant, and I think the way we were received was really superb. And the, the dresses of the of the, the women is absolutely brilliant. They're lovely. We love them. Yeah, they're really nice. Kajal and Amisha are planning to serve a traditional Indian tali to 24 diners in two sittings and have some surprise entertainment up their sleeve for later. They've spent over £279 of their £300 budget, including £7 on the hire of serving dishes. Hi, everybody. If you have a look at your menus, there's a little bit about the five elements, which are the building blocks of the universe in terms of Chinese medicine. Each of the five elements has one particular flavour. Let's see if you can guess which of the five flavours each of them are. Stefan and Bonnie are serving a food is health menu to 16 diners in one staggered sitting, with the guests arriving in two stages. They're hoping their high quality cuisine will persuade people to part with their cash and have spent £299.49. Water is the salty taste, so which one? The green. 
very much. Four looks. How are you doing with it, ladies? Right. Well, I reckon this fire. is the fire. That's the sweet metal. Yeah, yeah exactly. With Chinese medicine, you, you know, you would always hope to have these five tastes sort of in balance mm -hmm. in a meal. So that's what we're aiming for. I look forward to the next course being of a substantial portion. Because I think I've had enough of the small bits. Coming up. Communication breaks down in the kitchen. I can't remind you, it's written on the board. Chaos reigns at changeover time. Sorry, we're just getting the tables cleared, so if you can just bear with us. Right, Annie, we need to hurry up. We're not going to get anything done. Yep. And the diners are revolting. No one's looking at my tongue. Maybe they'll look at your stools if you're really lucky. <laughs> oh, no. In London, two pairs of wannabe restaurateurs have opened their homes up to complete strangers. Welcome to Masala Makwana. Please come in. The guests will pay whatever they think the evening is worth based on the quality of the service and the food. The decor is brilliant, and I think the way we were received was really superb. For the winning couple, there is a prize of an amazing dining experience at one of the world's top restaurants. They're lovely. <laughs> Sisters Kajal and Amisha are keen to impress their first sitting of 12 diners with a traditional Indian set menu. Bon appétit. Helped by lashings of champagne, wine and beer and a spot of assistance from mum in the kitchen. And one of their diners is a professional chef. The pasta is beautiful. Vegetable samosa is lovely. Really good. Really good. Yeah, so good. Compliments to the chef. Oh, well, thank you. Well, the gentleman has just given compliments to the chef for the samosa. <laughs> With the food going down well, Casual decides to get their guests to embrace the Bollywood theme. Stick it on your forehead. It's all right. It's not what I expected, really. I expected to be in the living room. Yes, I did. <laughs> But it was nice, actually. I love this. I want to open up my own restaurant. <laughs> Ten miles away at Stefan and Bonnie's health food restaurant... Can I take your order? Novice waitress Bonnie is struggling with the opening orders. Yes, I'll have Stefan's. Stefan's salad. salad, you will? Yes. So four vegetarians and six fishes, OK? Yeah, I can't quite read your code, unfortunately. Six, six, um, six vegetarian starters, yeah? I can't remind you. It's written on the board. The order system is slightly impenetrable. Where is she written? Uh, I think she's here now, is it? Uh, Force of each yeah, eighteen. To make matters worse, Bonnie can't quite remember who ordered which starter herself. Thank you. So as you walk in, two on your, two left. On your left and the middle one on the, in the middle of the room, yeah? So you wanted the, uh, the five sides of spice toffee, yeah? There you go. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh, fish, OK. Who was the toffee? I <laughs> Eventually, everyone gets their food. So, Were they wrong? Do you know how? Uh, don't know. Was the wrong person? All right. How did I get this wrong? Fish. Yes, yeah, no, 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 that's what they call them. <laughs> <laughs> Which way round was I? To add to the pressure, the last of Stefan and Bonnie's diners in their staggered sitting arrives. Hello. 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 Come on in. Thank you. I'm Bonnie. Nice to meet you. Do you want to have a seat? Oh, wow. Um, on the one side is your menu. Oh. Um, and on the other side... <laughs> Smoke alarm. to uh, disable it like we do at ours. Have the door shut, please. That's the entertainment, the fire alarm goes. I don't think the fire alarm creates a very good impression. They said it makes them feel like it, they're at home, but um, I think it'd be better if they didn't feel like that. 